we'll start on the host machine where we'll be installing the connector. We'll log into Adaptive with the user account that we created for the connector. And we'll switch to the admin portal. We'll need to download the connector files first. We'll navigate to Downloads and under the connector's heading, select Download next to Adaptive Connector. Once the files have finished downloading, we'll open the package. We'll need to extract the files first. Then we'll run the application. The installation wizard opens and we'll select Next to begin the setup. We'll accept the end user license agreement. Here, we can choose to install all of the Adaptive Connector tools, but for this demo, we won't include the Mobile Tools package, which could be installed later when needed. We select Install to begin the installation. When the installation is complete, we select Finish. Now the Connector Configuration Wizard opens, so we can immediately register the connector with our Adaptive Identity Service. We'll enter the username and password credentials for our connector account and select Next. We'll skip the web proxy configuration for this demo. We could specify alternate user credentials for our Active Directory domain administration, but we're using the current user credentials. On this screen, we're looking to make sure that we see the right Active Directory domain to connect to our Adaptive Identity Service. As long as the account being used to install this connector has domain admin permissions to the server, we can use these credentials. Here, we need to give our connector permissions to read the deleted objects container for provisioning and lifecycle workflow. Once we accept, the wizard begins the connections test. We're looking for four successes. Next, the wizard begins registering our connector to our Adaptive Identity Service. Now the connector setup is complete, so we select Finish. The connector utility opens to the Status tab and indicates that the software is up to date. We can see that the connector is started. Let's open About to see the connector version. Now let's switch to the Connector tab we can see the update intervals for how frequently the connector updates and how frequently it verifies the Active Directory user account. If Auto Update is enabled, we can schedule parameters for when the Auto Update runs. We'll close the connector utility now and return to our Adaptive Admin Portal. Let's navigate to Settings, Network. Now we can see the new Adaptive Connector installed. For best practice, we recommend installing at least two connectors for high availability and redundancy. We can see the enabled services and the status. If we need to take any actions, we can check the box next to the connector and select the Actions menu.